Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer, and today we are taking a general look at Gorn science ships. These look very little like any of the ships from TOS. Now, to be fair, the I don't think the Gorn scout ship ever got a canon name. The Gorn vessel. Supposedly counterpart to the Constitution class. I'll... I'll post the name, the potential names of the ship in the description, but to be fair, that's one ship. And these seem to be based off of Star Trek Starfleet Command's versions of the Gorn. To be fair, that'd be kind of awesome. I happen to like Starfleet Command. They have a lot of designs that just work. And they're glorious. Anyway, the Phalanx is an outlier of Gorn vessels. It's normally they're named after lizards, or reptiles in general. It comes with a barrier field generator. Hi, I have a shield. You're gonna have to shoot through it to get to me. Which you probably will, because the game is unfair. Bloody. If the Federation can't see Klingon ships, <laughs> ships, why should the Fe <laughs> Klingons see Federation ships? Ah. The Draguas. I believe this is named after a lizard genus? I'll have to look it up. It will be... I'll probably put it in the description. It comes with the infamous Aceton Assimilator. This comes from... Star Trek The Next Generation episode Booby Trap. <sighs> they couldn't have just locked the tractor beam on the Permillion Battle Cruiser and dragged it out? Or magnetic tow cables to get it out of there? Whoop so disappointing. A piece of history lost. At any rate, this is a very, very interesting design, but as you might guess, science biased. In fact, that's what the Gorn are in STO. The KDF's version of science ships. Now, I will be doing a separate review on other ones, but the Varanas is the biggest. It is usually the last one you're going to see. In fact, IKS Varanas makes an appearance in Midnight. Kind of disappointing in a way. Still. It's wonderfully designed, and kind of reminds me of the Galactica, in a way. How disappointing. That isn't more tactically focused. Oh, for the love of... Uh, is there any way to get rid of, rid of any Federation options? Okay. Nor Camarag Negvar. Ah, there it is. Oh, for once the ship actually gets a dis gets a fleet discount. It's a miracle. There will be three more Gorn ships, but those are all basically Gorn Vestas and deserve their own vid. That said, Cryptic keeps up the design language. All of these ships look like they were designed by the same people. In this case, the Gorn. Due to their obsolescence, they're not worth getting. I mean, I don't want to offend any 
science drivers that got these things. Hell, at the time, I thought I would be using them all the time. I was wrong. Tier 6 is the new standard, and that's never gonna change. Unless they come up with Tier 7. Which would be nightmare fuel. How the hell could they up that? Housecoat Gaming, signing off.